Hey everybody, it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd go over with you uh, eight eyeshadow palettes I have in my collection that I feel are perfect for fall, for this season. Uh, two of them, uh, let's say, are good for Halloween. <laughs> They're my Halloween go-to palettes, but the rest, I went through everything. I think these are the ones I think that are my most fall-like. Now, I have lots of palettes that you can definitely use in the fall, um, but these, I think, are, to me, just feel, feel like fall. Uh, the first one is one I picked up last year from Nomad Cosmetics, the Hudson Valley palette. Now, look, the, the fall trees on the cover, I mean, definitely, this is a fall palette. And look at these shades. Just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. Um, should we swatch some? We should while we're here, shouldn't we? We should swatch. Uh... I'm going to swatch Cider House. Oh, it's so pretty. Let's swatch this red apple picking. And let's watch a good green. Let's watch uh, this grungy bed and breakfast. It's like a khaki green. So let's put them on my hand right here. There we go. Very pretty. I like that. I like that very much. So that is my um, first choice. And it is uh, Nomad Cosmetics in Hudson Valley. Next, <laughs> this is an old tried and true. Um, I know its days are probably numbered, but it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Romance. Oh, excuse me, Modern Renaissance palette. Here is mine. It's definitely gotten some love, but I love this palette. Um, I really do. I don't think I'm going to swatch it. You guys have seen it, but yeah. It, to me, this just... This screams fall to me. I know she has a new fall palette out. I'm not going to purchase it. I'm being more careful about what I buy. But, um, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty. The new one looks pretty, but I love the Modern Renaissance. Next, this is a Too Faced palette in the tin, which I love. The Pumpkin Spice. The Pumpkin Spice palette. I just love this. I smell just a little bit. It would never did smell strong. I can still smell it a little, but yeah. I mean, what says fall other than pumpkin spice, you know? So that's my next choice. Next is Melt Cosmetics Rust. Of course, it's got to be in here. Here are the shades. Oh, so pretty. Definitely, those rusty colors are very fall-like. Uh, let's swatch. Um, just let's swatch erode, which is this this golden yellow, and let's swatch tarnish, which is a shimmer, and I want to swatch ravage, which is also a shimmer, but it's a dark shimmer. There we go. Just really, really pretty shades. So, Rust by Melt. I have another Melt palette in this, and it is the, whoops, put the plastic back. It's the Gemini 2 palette. To me, I love this. This was one of my absolute favorites because it has those rosy tones and it has the greens. Um, I'm going to swatch Lovesick. Look at that. Um, Matteo. And Almond Eyes, which is a khaki. Oh, beautiful. Look at that Lovesick. That is just a beautiful, deep burgundy rust color gorgeous wipe that off 
Next, I have my Lunar Beauty. This is the uh, Eternal Eclipse palette. And I just feel like these are beautiful for fall. The dark blues and the, this warm row in the middle. Let's do uh, Summer Sky, even though we're talking about fall. Let's do Lagoon. Look at that deep teal. And I'm going to do Night Sky just because it's black with those glitters. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now those all scream fall. The next two palettes are my favorite for Halloween. Absolute. They also happen to be Lunar Beauty. Let's start with mm, the first Moon Spell palette. Oh, I, I just love these palettes. Look at these shades. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes, just just gorgeous, gorgeous shades. And let's, and they're all named after witches. I think you guys know that by now. They're all named after witches. So this is Bonnie, this green, kind of an acidy green. Um, let's go Sabrina, which is that purple. And uh, let's do a lighter shade. Let's do Prue, which is a shimmer. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I love these. These are absolute favorites. I've been working with some pigments. They're starting to dye my skin. All right. Now, last, of course, you know if I've got the first moon spell, I have volume two. And if there's a volume three, I will definitely purchase volume three. There we go. This one is more purple and pink heavy with some red. Um, let's do Willow, which is, that is red. Um, try to come up with a look maybe for this Halloween with the red. Um, Luna, which is a beautiful shimmer. Love his shimmers. And let's do Macy, which is a deep purple. Oh, wow. There we go. So, so pretty. So that is the, what did I say I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight shadow, eyeshadow palettes that I feel are very fall, Halloween-ish. Um, shades and I will be hopefully using some or all of them this season this Halloween season that's my goal so guys what sh palettes do you think are very fall fall like which ones do you have in your collection that I mean I had some honorable mentions um, for Halloween you know I have the cremated palette by Jeffree Star and to me, that is a neutral palette. That's why I didn't pull it out. Um, but, you know, with the name cremated, it kind of gives you that Halloween kind of feel. But, uh, so anyway, guys, I, I wish I had the ColourPop, uh, some of the ColourPop uh, Halloween palettes. I don't have any of those. I kind of wish I did. But I have, a, I have a pretty good stack here. So, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps my algorithm. Uh, it helps people to find my channel. If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. And any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.